I'm freezing. Hello from Siem Reap in Cambodia. We have had a very long travel day. It is about 20 past 10 and the restaurant closes mm. at in 40 minutes. So we need yeah. to run downstairs and grab something to eat because we haven't eaten since lunchtime. This room is freezing. We've just checked in. So I'm going to really quickly just whiz the camera around and show you because mm. it's incredible like i haven't even looked at it all myself yet but okay so we walk in through the door this is the bed it's very grand i don't know what's out there i'm actually really shivering they had the aircon on so high um but here's the whole dressing table area there's a wardrobe i don't know what this is for finally a full-length mirror not every hotel has had this <gasps> oh my god God, Jazz! Yeah. Have you been inside here? So they've obviously got a toilet. They've got a massive, like, freestanding bathtub, which is <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Not just that, I'm a bit deaf from the flight. They've got um, a shower as well, and quite a large. I'm so cold, I've never ever thought I'd say this in Asia. I'm freezing. Um, a sink unit with toiletries and stuff but right now my face is so shiny I've had the longest travel day we had the slowest driver in the world we need to go and grab something to eat and then book some tickets for tomorrow <laughs> gourmet dinner for two <laughs> great good morning um we've woken up very hungry this morning because we went for dinner in the restaurant when we landed yesterday and the guy was kind of telling us off. He was like, you should have come earlier. We were like, we've just landed. And he was like, we closed at 10.30. I was like, yeah, it's 10.25. Um, and the manager told us that you're open till 11. <laughs> anyway, they had no vegetarian food apart from french fries. So we literally just got a bowl of chips each. And then we couldn't eat them because there are so many like mosquitoes or midges or whatever they are here. I counted at least 20 bites on my legs just from sitting down outside having dinner last night and i had both of our napkins on my legs because creepy crawlies love me so i had both of our napkins on one leg each and i still got bitten um it wasn't a very nice experience so i hope breakfast is a bit better but we were meant to be going to Angkor Wat this morning but Jas has got a suspected food poisoning I think and um we just feel really tired so we're gonna maybe just have a bit of a chilled day by the pool I look so tired um but we're gonna have breakfast and then see what we do so we're on what appears to be the privilege floor <laughs> it's quite cool actually that they've got a little chilling area up here as well just the Wi-Fi here is really crap. It just doesn't seem to work at all. No. Okay, they've got quite a big selection of uh, food here. Loads of salads, boiled cauliflower. I've noticed they have like boiled broccoli in Vietnam, which was a really strange addition. Boiled potato. Um, yep, yeah, cheese, ham. Oh, and they have hot stuff here too. Okay, I've got a really weird breakfast here because I wasn't sure, but I got um, some stir-fried noodles with egg and veg. This is a tofu and mixed vegetable curry. <laughs> really weird. A spring roll that she told me was veggie and a hash brown and some chilli sauce that doesn't contain fish sauce. So there we go. We're just heading down to the pool. We've had a very... Um, lazy start because Jas can't stay awake oh. he's not feeling very well so we had breakfast this morning which was actually pretty decent um, they have soy milk which I'm very happy about and we were meant to go to Angkor Wat today we hadn't actually booked our tickets which was quite fortunate um, oh this lighting is terrible so we're going to do that tomorrow hopefully mm. Jas feels better right? yep hope so um, I also wanted to go to Tonle Sap floating fishing village but that was another day trip that started really early so if you feel better later we could see if we could do like a sunset tour but i don't know how far yeah. that is from here we're just going to lay by the pool and have a look at things to do do you want to lay in the sun or the shade oh well, the bed's taken yeah, this is quite nice, actually. so we've just parked ourselves here it is quite a small pool 
um, and I can feel creepy crawlies on me already but this is where we're going to spend some of the day I reckon. The sun is definitely starting to come out now and it's really not humid here at all it's just lovely and warm which is so nice because it's completely bearable I'd say it's about 30 degrees and the pool's small but it is warmer than all the pools we've been in in Vietnam so that's actually really nice <laughs> I'm just gonna go and explore find somewhere to refill my water bottle so I thought I'd come and have a look at the gym um, oh okay the lights and the aircon are not working in here but I'm not someone that can fall asleep like in the daytime even if I'm just chilling on a beach or by the pool and Jas has fallen asleep because he's really not feeling very well. I really hope Jas feels better because today I don't think we're going to be doing that much but let me just show you the gym because it is really big and it's actually not hot in here either and there's no lights or aircon or fans on at the moment either. They've got like all the weights and stuff. Um, all of these like leg press, chest press, whatever machines. Oh, I imagine it's quite nice actually to be on a treadmill looking out to the pool. Let's have a look, as long as it doesn't start. There we go, that's the pool. I think this is definitely one of the nicer gyms out of um, all the hotels we've stayed at. I'm not sure if I've said because my vlog has kind of been a bit all over the place since we arrived late last night. Um, we're only here for two days and there's only really two major things to do here in Siem Reap. One is obviously to see Angkor Wat, the largest temple in the world, which is about a 15 minute drive from our hotel. And the other thing that a lot of people do is to go to a floating fishing village on Tonle Sap Lake. I'm probably not pronouncing that properly. And that is something I would have liked to do. Luckily for us, we haven't actually booked our tickets yet. We normally just book it on Get Your Guide or Kluke, Viator, somewhere like that online when we arrive. So we haven't lost out by not doing anything today. Obviously, when you're ill, you can't, you just can't do anything. And it's a shame that Jas is ill, but hopefully he recovers soon. He spent like a lot of time sleeping. We got chatting to a man at breakfast who said that he had to miss out on Angkor Wat because they bought their tickets, but he has also had food poisoning and they're here for like a week, but it's quite expensive to visit. I think it's about 40 US dollars per person and that's just for a day pass. Ideally, you would get a three-day pass to see it all. There's other temples there too. There's Angkor Tom and one other one. But we're just short on time. And unless you have a lot of time available on your trip, then of course you would get the three-day pass and see it all. But I'm just going to go for a walk around the hotel, wait for Jas to wake up, maybe get a drink and possibly jump back in the pool. All right, so we're about to get into a tuk-tuk. Oh. <laughs> England. England. Yeah. Yeah, UK. That's right. UK, yeah. yes. <laughs> well, luxurious, isn't it? Oh. Very luxurious, actually. Oh, oh, was he just waiting out here? Yeah, <laughs> just that call a tuk tuk, and 20 yeah. seconds later, he's here. On Pub Street, we just got a tuk tuk here. I've noticed that all taxi drivers and tuk tuks are quite irritating here because once you're with them, they try and upsell you like day tours, they want your phone number, they're trying to add your WhatsApp, they don't have change. You have to be like on the constant lookout for people that are like not trying to scam you but just trying to make more money off you. Um, and the smallest like dollar notes we have are twenty dollars, which isn't really ideal because the journey cost us two, and he just said he didn't have change. But luckily, or unluckily for him, he pulled up outside a money exchange place. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, oh, let me just pop in here. Um, he still made me tip him, but it, that's fine. So this is Pub Street, which I guess will be a lot livelier um, in the evening. We just need to find somewhere to eat because it is like almost 4.30 and I am starving. That looks like a bag to me, that giraffe and the watermelon. That's really cool. Um, no, up, no, oh, sorry, the giraffe. Giraffe, right, right. that's it. This. Yeah. No, 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 no. Other, other way, other way, yeah, yeah, there. Thank you. Nice little bag, isn't it? Oh, 
That's hilarious though. I think we've stumbled upon the locals market because there's a lot of like cleaning products, tins of paint, tools and everyone's looking at us like what are you doing here? Oh no there's some like touristy bits here Jess. This stuff is all made out of recycled things so this is made out of like a um, cement it's bag. From, the piece of bag oh. from what sorry? Fish. 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 Yes. Oh okay. Like yeah. mm, it's pretty cool. I like that. All this stuff is actually made out of recycled stuff, which I think is really cool. I just cannot get over how quiet the streets of Siem Reap are. It's actually incredible. There's loads of like food stalls here. I do have a vegetarian one on my list for when we visit Angkor Wat tomorrow. But we need to cross. Oh shit. This patient is getting himself a mixed fruit juice. It's really good actually because in foreign countries I've noticed they always add sugar to all their fresh juices but here they asked if we wanted sugar and obviously we said no. Um, but yeah, we're just um, here. We need to like somehow walk along the river, cross it at the next bridge and then go back on ourselves to a vegan, I think, restaurant that I found. We're yet to try some street food actually on our um, trip, but there's just a lot of meat here so I can't really. Okay, I found it. It's called Banal Vegetarian Restaurant. Here we go. Yeah, look, they were closed between two and five. Um, so they've just opened up, I guess. Okay. Moringa soup for you. It's got fresh turmeric um, and ginger, so hopefully it makes you feel better. I hope so. We have steamed rice. Do you, I think they have um, rice with the soup, you know. Yeah, I think they do. You need to ask her. That's the curry. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, well. Oh. Oops. Oh. Sorry. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Are we? That's my amma. That's your amma. That's my curry. Wow. Thank you. Do you have the rice with the soup? Yeah, the soup. Oh, you have rice with the soup? Well, this and that. Yeah, rice with soup. Oh, do you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is the Kaima Kima Amok. I don't know how to pronounce that word. And this is the Kima curry and the Moringa soup. And you have all of it with rice. Mm. Just walked past this really cool, like, co working space. I've seen that they have quite a lot of these here in Siem Reap. Um, it's called an enterprise center. They've got a wall full of books. People sat here on their laptops. It's actually really cool, I think. Dinner was good. I really like the curry. Um, the amok, not so much. But I am finding food here a little bit bland too. So I asked for lots of chili flakes and um, then it was a lot better. You didn't really like the soup though, did you? But then he's ill. He literally hasn't eaten much. He barely had any breakfast and then we didn't have lunch. He barely had any of your soup. But made you have some dry toast because I think that's good for the sickness. I don't even know if you can hear me because we're on the back of the tuk tuk. Good morning. It's 5 a.m. I've been awake since 4. We're off to Angkor Wat today to go and see the sunrise. Um, the sun rises at 6 a.m. here and we have the driver that's waiting in the lobby for us. We just used our taxi guy from the airport because it's far cheaper than trying to book someone through the hotel so luckily we took his um, phone number but um, oh, I'm not going to get coffee for a couple of hours and yeah hopefully hopefully we get a good view because it all depends on how cloudy it is. <laughs> Ticket. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so this is the checkpoint um, just to make sure you have a ticket. Otherwise, you have to go somewhere different um, in order to buy one. Uh, one guy, hmm. 
No going. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So we're just walking up now. It's quite a long walk. Um, I've already got a banging headache. <laughs> just trying to find where we need to be. Never ever thought I would say this in Asia, but I'm a little bit cold. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. I mean, it is like 5 a.m. and it's quite a long walk up to the temple. It's very busy, although it's not as busy as I've seen in photos yet. Um, <laughs> but there's obviously water nearby. Oh, water nearby, and it's um, quite windy. I think it's just because I'm tired and because it's um, early that it's cold. It is busy already because the sun is about to rise. We need to find a spot, Jas, and not fall over. The place is so huge, it's really nice actually to come at this time of day because this isn't actually busy compared to what I've seen um, on other people's videos and it's not too hot, it's definitely starting to warm up but look at all these intricate details. This has been here I think he said since the 12th century and Angkor Wat used to be a Hindu temple and now it's a Buddhist temple. This is very steep, only for the decorations back in the... Uh this is the original staircase that the king used to use to go upstairs but we um, can't access it because it isn't safe but look at how steep it looks not quite at the top yet So we somehow find ourselves back round the front of Angkor Wat. We were trying to find the back, but um must have gone the wrong way. <laughs> but look, they do like hot air balloon rides, I think, above it. It's a bit too bougie for my liking, but... And they've got like what looks like loads of food stalls um, all along there. Although we might go back to the hotel for breakfast. I don't think you'll be able to see from here, but look at all the lotuses growing in the water. Is lotuses the plural of lotus? We're now making our way back um, to where our driver dropped us off. It was quite a long walk, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, obviously, like you leave this whole temple complex, which is huge. I think I might have said that Angkor Wat is the largest temple in the world. It's been really nice though. Um, it's not been too hot at all. In fact, the weather in Cambodia has been very, very pleasant and manageable. No humidity. It's a really great time of year to come. It's literally just a monkey here. Monkey. Has no one else spotted the monkey apart from us? Hey, hey monkey. What's happening? <laughs> oh, these must be like the really young like monks in training. We've just left the um, temple, but we're obviously walking back. This looks so different now that it's daylight. Obviously there's no light before the sun rises, but wow. A bit confusing when you leave because I have no idea where our driver is and obviously it was dark when we arrived. Also half asleep, but I seem to remember there was a patch of grass in the middle. I don't really know. <laughs> um, have you actually got 4G here? Because I've got no service. 
<laughs> I do not know how he recognised us. I just remember our guy was wearing um, a red t-shirt and I could just see someone frantically waving at us. It was no, so fine. funny. Thank you. Thank you. We have a driver, thank you. No. We had a nap. Um, we got back to the hotel, we had breakfast. And then um, we had a nap because I had a banging headache waking up at four to go to Angkor Wat and now we're just lying by the pool. It's a lot busier today than it was yesterday. I think loads more people have just checked in. We pretty much had the hotel to ourselves um, yesterday but I don't know how much longer I can sit out here for because it is so hot. Pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> here we go, here's the pool. We picked up some um, snacks from a little supermarket yesterday. I don't really know um, if these will be nice or not, but they're Lay's. And we also got some cans of, a um, couple of cans of Coke Zero because these were under a dollar. And with this being a five star hotel, <laughs> um, they cost three pounds 50 here. So we thought, do you know what? It's not happening. Obviously we were like, we're not spending three pounds 50 on a can of Coke, that's a joke. Palace, the royal palace where the king stays when he visits Siem Reap, but he normally stays in Phnom Penh. Um, the guy this morning was telling us um, on our drive, but it was just too dark to film. And there's an outdoor gym just there on the corner, um, and it was so busy at 5 a.m. Like everyone comes here to cycle, run, or use the gym um, in the mornings before they start work. There's loads of cyclists here as well. So we're in this restaurant called Kaima Kitchen. I don't know if it's Kaima or Kima, can't say it properly, but they have a lot of vegetarian options here. I don't know what Lab is, um, I did try to ask, but he just pointed me to this. It's like a stir fry, I think. I definitely want something Cambodian and not Thai, because they do a lot of like papaya salad, obviously red curry, green curry and all the rest of it um, but you know that's just stuff I can have at home it's not focusing so everywhere we've been in uh, Vietnam and Cambodia I've had to google no Thai basil because I cannot stand it but apparently they just call it basil um, it's Thai basil by the way Jas, not basil it's just a herb so in the same way that a lot of people don't like coriander I really really don't like it and every dish so far on our travels has had it so I've had to google it but I think it's just called basil here so that's nice and easy bringing you all the riveting content here I only wanted something quite small so I got this um, stir fried tofu with green beans and carrots because it was the spiciest thing on the menu and then I also got a portion of fries because everything comes with rice here and I'm a little bit bored so I thought I would um, have chips and a stir fry. Really random combination but hopefully it tastes good. How's your beer Jas? Not bad actually for one dollar I think. Yeah, Angkor beer. You've had a beer in every city we've yeah. been to like a local beer. Hanoi was definitely the cheapest though, right? 55p. The beer. Their local beer was probably was the best. Was it? Yeah. And it was the cheapest. This is okay. Alright. <laughs> ah, they bring you rice like this to your table. Thank you. It's great, thank, thank you very much. Yeah. Huh. Really yeah. <laughs> Guys, that was epic. Like, it was so good. I'm a huge green beans fan anyway. Oh my god, it was so good. And it was actually quite spicy too. Such a good meal. Did you like yours? Yeah, I love mine. You really liked his too. Is your chilli sauce spicy? Yeah, it was actually not too spicy. It had more flavour to it, so it was good. So, so good. That was the best meal we've had in Cambodia out of the two meals that we've had here. <laughs> looks like it's closing this is the old market that I think we walked through yesterday um, it's a bit 
It's not that late today, maybe because it's a Sunday that they seem to be closed. It's a little stray cats that Jas is falling in love with here. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm filming this. This really grosses me out. This is the first time I have seen traffic in Siem Reap. So we were here last night on All Cheer Street and then Pub Street um, runs sort of, not alongside it, but I can't think of the word. Oh my God, I could smell, oh my God, no. No, this is awful. <laughs> Mm, I could smell this as we were approaching it. Whoa. This is actually horrific. Oh, this is nice. There's no cars allowed down here. Well, apart from this one guy. <laughs> oh my God, that is actually adorable. <laughs> Little Cambodian kids are so cute. Um, this is Pub Street. It's way livelier than we, than it was last night. I just spotted this. They do vegan ice cream rolls. So ice cream rolls are a really big thing here. Like every single stall is selling them. But this place makes them with coconut milk. So it's vegan and this whole road is full of them. So we're obviously going to try some. Because why would we not? <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. You can something, free topping. Oh, toppings? Oh, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And then, should I get a flake? They're a bit sly because they managed to upsell us two, so rather than putting two toppings in one pot, two flavours, sorry, in one pot, they've given us a pot of each flavour. A little bit annoying because I would never eat this much, but I've got the peanut butter one with chocolate sauce and these wafer things. You get three toppings for free. And Jas has got the Oreo one. I think he's put caramel sauce over it. We had this dessert in, uh, was it Hoi An or Hanoi? It's called Kem Khoi there, but I think it's the same thing. It's like, um, they call it dragon's breath here. Hi. One cup. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet corn puff. With liquid nitrogen. We're now off for breakfast. That was quite a sweaty workout actually, but it's breakfast time. Just checked out of the hotel. We're back in a tuk-tuk on our way to grab an early lunch before we leave for the airport. This was such a good find. Um, it's a Taiwanese place here in Siem Reap and they do a lot of vegan dishes which I found on Happy Cow. I am going to get the curry daikon bao because they said that that's quite spicy and I'm not a big fan of um, aubergine aka eggplant. I think it's a Spanish owned place because they um, do gazpacho. But look at this, I love cherry pepe um, in Rome, I was eating that all the time. And they do a miso pepe noodles which is so cool. And what I'm really really excited for is that they have soy milk so I'm going to get the caramel coffee um, with soy milk which is very exciting. I just saw the guy check in the fridge, he obviously doesn't have soy milk and he just got on his motorbike and he's driven off to find the soy milk. How sweet is that? Right. He's literally just gone off to find oh, the yes, soy yeah. milk. My coffee. Oh, I love this man. Oh, he's back already. That was fast. <laughs> that was really fast. There we go. This looks so good. Just just reminded me though that I don't actually like caramel. 
<laughs> I got really excited because I saw coffee that said vegan, so I was like, yes, I'll get it. <laughs> I will try it. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh, this looks so good. Let's see yours. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Damn. What did you get? Mom was for the Thai, Thai, Thai Taiwanese, Taiwanese chicken yeah. with spicy sauce. Mm. Damn, that was good. Guys, what a way to end our trip to Siem Reap. That was the best meal I have had in the past three days, right? Yeah, I know dinner last well. night was good, but this was just oh, excellent. It was so spicy. The guy warned me that it would be spicy, but I was just like, don't worry, I'll be fine. You don't have to put the sauce on the side. Oh my God, it was spicy. I wish we had more time to explore, but we've literally got about 20 minutes to get back to the hotel and obviously find a way back as well. But this area is called Kandal Village and it's very like upmarket um, part of Siem Reap. It's very quiet, very chilled. It's really nice actually. And I want to quickly go into this vintage um, goods store because it looks really cool, doesn't it, Jas? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, this place is closed. It's such a shame. It looks really cool. It's like a vintage um, shop. Oh, she's open. Oh, yeah, thanks. <clears throat> this is really cool. This is so nice. Oh, look at this. It's a little typewriter. Look at this phone, Jess. That's so cool. And this is the new airport. I did think it was very clean actually when we landed. This airport is so nice. It's like nicer than Heathrow because it's brand new. <laughs> Security was hilarious. It was like the quickest thing ever. Oh my God, I have a mosquito bite or something on my yeah. eyebrow. Anyway, so annoying. Um, that's one thing that I have not liked about Siem Reap is that there are mosquitoes, midges, whatever they mm. are, everywhere. And I've been bitten. I've they had only like deet. you. Yeah, they love me. And I've had DEET on like 24 seven. We're actually at the airport, but we're sat outside in this courtyard area that's meant to be like a smoking area, but there's no one here. And there's like loads of them. It's so nice. Um, it's not hot. It's just really nice, like roof, breezy temperature. Yes, yeah, so even if people were smoking here, actually, you wouldn't like smell it. Sorry, I'm trying to <laughs> see the view because it's all like open air, so it wouldn't be like horrible. Anyway, um, we're leaving Cambodia. I've actually enjoyed the, uh, the past three days here. Cambodia is very different to Vietnam. The streets are really clean. The people are friendly, not as friendly as the Vietnamese, right? Yeah. I right. think it was just our hotel staff that we did not like. Like every morning when I asked for a coffee with soy milk, they would look at me like I'd asked for their firstborn yeah. child and just like roll their eyes at me. And I'd be like, sorry, like what? I don't understand. And then sometimes I just wouldn't make it. Like this morning I asked him and he was like, mm -hmm. and then he just disappeared. And I was like, sorry, is my coffee? Like, I've been waiting 40 minutes, and he was like, oh, right, you want soy milk? I was like, yeah, like, what is taking so long? Oh, it was awful. Did not like the service at our hotel, um, all the staff there, and the fact that it was full of, like, British tourists who literally just come here for, like, the pool, the heat, and the cocktails, and they kept going on about how great the pasta and the pizza is at the hotel, and I was just like... Um, they, they all went to some like cultural night that the hotel were doing for like $65 per person and they were like this is wonderful and I was like if you want culture just go walk the streets but they're not the sort of people that would ever really leave the resort I figured um, which I just think is really weird but anyway um, Siem Reap has been fun three days is definitely the maximum amount of time that you'd want to spend here because there's really just not much to do but now we're about to fly to Laos in about an hour or so so I'm going to end this video here thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye